Hey everybody, it's Michael from Aerial Influence. So everybody's been talking about the DJI FPV drone, uh, but we thought we'd throw it back a little bit. Epson came out with uh, glasses several years ago, and what you could do with the original Epson glasses is that they actually ran an Android uh, app, and it was the DJI app. Um, and then they later made these BT35Es, which actually just plug in through HDMI. So a lot of times you're already wearing sunglasses anyways, so it's what the Epson glasses offer is a way to plug into the smart controllers or anything that has an HDMI uh, plug-in and basically get that feed through the glasses because there's two um, OLED uh, 720 pixel uh, screens in each one. The added benefit too is that you still can have line of sight because it's basically clear inside the glasses. So anyways, we're gonna try that out on the M300. And you know, we also did a little print with the uh, with 3D printer to make a bracket for the regular smart controller. And uh, yeah, if you buy from us, we'll, we'll print you off one if you want. All right, so let's go see how it looks. Yeah, so it's nice because, you know, you can actually see through these things, you know, a little dorky, but um, you can see through, so it definitely helps. And I can also see the screen of what I'm, I'm doing. So I can move the camera and basically still keep an eye on the drone and the image at the same time. So it's really the best of both worlds. You're seeing, you're seeing the on-screen display and you're seeing the drone at the same time. That should fulfill all of your FAA requirements essentially. Yeah, for keeping, you know, it keeps your head up basically. I mean, and then you can change the buttons and everything to basically toggle back and forth between the different cameras, which is always nice. And this is gonna work with uh, not only the Matrice smart controller, but also, uh, you know, the regular smart controller for the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and the, the new, uh, the, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, which is coming out soon as well. Yeah. The, this this is kind of bulky what we have rigged up here, but uh, it wouldn't take much to basically 3D print something or have something easily mounted. I've got a battery pack and then there's the HDMI module uh, for the, Ep the Epson HDMI module that basically takes in the power, spits it out to the glasses, takes in the HDMI image, spits that out you know, to the glasses. So you can kind of basically get, a, get away with having just one kind of cord attached to you. Everything else can be around here. It's much, much easier um, when you're using it on the, on the smaller remote because you can actually mount it underneath. But theoretically, you could have a second person with those glasses on because it's not like the screen blacks out when you, when you plug those goggles in. So you could still have a pilot flying from the screen itself, from the remote, and somebody else wearing the goggles as like a second viewer. So if it was somebody on a search and rescue mission that wanted to focus just on yep. trying to find that hot spot somewhere in the middle of a field, you could do that as well. Yeah, I mean, the only, I guess with that, the only thing would be, um, you know, you're kind of tethered, it is corded, but I'm sure that you could basically you know, have some type of wireless solution as well, you know, where you're sending the signal wirelessly and you're just, um, and then the person that's using, is using the glasses is acting like the uh, receiver. Hey everybody, David here. So just to clarify, we'll put a link into the description uh, for these glasses themselves, the Epson glasses. I'm not even sure if they're still making them, but I think you can still buy them at different places. There might be newer models out there. We have no affiliation with any of these companies. 
Uh, but, but we thought we'd show it to you. It's something interesting uh, for different industries that might have a use for the Epson glasses. We thought it was kind of cool. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.